when you're using light from an open sky like we've shown, it's beautiful, it's very natural, but it is definitely blue, okay? We have sunlight hitting green foliage and grass, it's reflecting back a green light. So in a lot of photographs, you have a light from above, which is blue, and a light from underneath, which is green. Now you can color balance for one or the other, but no camera in the world can take out both blue and green. So that's one of the main reasons as we work in places, this place is ideal. We don't often come to places like this. Most of the time we're out in the foliage, in the natural settings. And in places like that, we always use a reflector with reflected sunlight because the color balance of reflected sunlight stays the same throughout an entire session. So I'm not having to constantly recolor balance ever, with every scene and every shot or worrying about trying to fix it as I upload the images or in Photoshop. Looking right at me, chin down just a little bit, beautiful, turn your face back to me. That is good. Now, <sighs> Jared, you know what? Yeah, that looks good. Now, Jared, do me a favor. The light here isn't as strong as the light on that side. Yeah, just put all the way on top. That's good. Now, this is definitely one of those times where you have to be careful using reflected light like this. Jared could easily overpower all the natural light and just like basically fry your retinas, but you have to feather off the light. The light that's being reflected off, the main beam is actually hitting the ceiling and we're just using the edge of the light to illuminate Nora and get distinct catch lights in her eyes. Now Jared, I need a little more light than what you have there. That's good. Now Nora, turn your face a little more. That's okay. good. Nothing. Now too much. Now the right amount, bringing it up, right there. Now don't move, stay just One like that. I forewarn you, this water is really icky, okay? It doesn't smell too good, but it looked really nice in the photographs, so that's all that matters. Now, come on down here. Now, when we're done, what you're gonna be doing is you're going to, and well, before I do that, I'm gonna explain some things, okay? One of the things you have to realize you can tell a girl she's going to look beautiful and to roll up her pant legs, kick off her shoes and go in the water. And if she thinks she's going to look good, no matter how icky the water is, she'll jump right in. Okay. Guys, you got to sell it a little bit. You have to explain it to their benefit. Okay. It is the fact that it looks better. Okay. To be sitting near water barefoot because that looks normal. But if you tell a guy to kick off his shoes, he's going to, eh, you know, but if you tell him his nice new shoes are going to get all messed up near the water, then it speaks to the benefit to him, okay? So he will gladly do it. So in this case, you're gonna kick off your shoes and socks, okay? You're going to sit right here where my left foot is, and the, there's a rock right there which makes it not too low. And then you'll just bring up your pant leg, maybe a couple of once so that your pant leg doesn't get wet, because you definitely don't want to have the smell on you when you leave. So, okay, I just go ahead and have a seat there. I'll walk across this way.